Our studio projects make it very easy to share the work that you're doing with your coworkers or colleagues by uh, just saving everything in the exact same folder. Uh, if you have everything in a folder, in your project folder, then you can basically compress that and send it to other people. But there's one key rule, and that is you should use relative paths, not absolute paths. Always use relative paths inside your project folders. And that's because if you send it to somebody else and you use absolute paths, they may not have those paths on their computer. But if you design it, uh, your project to use relative paths, then they can open it up on their computer and everything will work just fine. So uh, let me show you how that might work. I'm going to open up this project and just take a quick look at what we've got. We've got a script, we've got some commands, we've got some CSV files and so forth. So what I'll do, I'm going to close this down just to pretend that we've just finished working on it. I'll close it down and close down our studio. Then what I can do, if I would like to send all of these project files to my colleague, the easiest way is to simply compress the project folder uh, completely. So go one directory above and then compress that so that everything is guaranteed to be inside the compressed file. Now on my computer it automatically creates a, a top.zip and I can share that with uh, someone else. So um, let me just to illustrate that, let me create a new directory that we might call another computer, for example. And suppose your colleague opens it up on their computer in another folder. So this is now on their computer, and they've got it in their specific place. And then they open it up, and they look at the .r proj, and they open it up. As long as you have used relative paths, when they open it up, they will be able to see and work with exactly what you have worked with before. So for example, let's say I want to read this C CSV file in. Then because it's, been, it's used a relative path, even on the new computer, it should work. Same thing for this command. So as long as you, as you use relative paths, and when you zip up or you compress the folder itself, not the files in the folder, but go one level above and zip that up, then you can share these very easily just by, for example, emailing the .zip file. And I'll close everything down. I can save the work and then I could send that back.